Hi, I'm RJ Star, aka Yang Shepherd, owner of RJ's Tunes and Barnalove.com. Welcome to Video Cast 7. We played with the lambs some this week, lots this week. They played with the dogs, and the dogs finally quit barking at them. Even Dad got to play with them some when I wasn't around. They all like to run and buck. Mom said we were raising prime bucking stock. They're really cute. We found collars for them, but they're all just a little too big. They get into everything. They try to eat tubs. They try to eat heaters. They try to eat electrical cords. This clip is really funny because the lamb just headbutted Dad in the butt. She did it twice. He didn't think it was so funny, though. They're running around because they say they're hungry. They don't think Dad's making their bottles fast enough. So they're going to climb up on him and jump at him and bite him. It hurts when they bite you because they get their skin, too. And we feed them every six hours. Three, nine, three, nine. Three in the morning and three in the afternoon. Three at night and three in the afternoon and morning. Uh, that's how they act each time. Mom put some jackets on them after we fed them. They looked real nice. They're pink and white striped. She made some different color ones that Miss Nancy sent us. They're... She didn't make them. She's cut the sleeves. I had a mountain lion guarding my lambs. That was a cat. They got to see their very first outside. We got to take them outside for the very first time this week. They didn't know what to think all the grass. They're more just, where are we going? Bright-eyed and sticking their feet all four different directions. Dad's tall so he can just reach over the pen and set them down. I'm short so I can't. My arms are too short. They have brown jackets on this time because Mom made those and the pink ones were dirty. They didn't know what to think about all the grass. I tried letting them out and they just wandered off so we had to go round them back up and bring them back. Mom videotaped that for you guys. They were stopping at everything. A piece of wood. Mom's flower pots. <laughs> the cat. Twigs. They'd stop and look just because. They run up to Mom's uh, flower pots. And instead of going around them, they decided to eat the green grass in them. Which wasn't grass. It was Mom's flowers. She wasn't too happy. After I had them picked up and put back across, we tried getting them to go on again. She kept on calling them, and when we got them across, they each went different ways. Then finally, one went with me, and the other one come to him. They stopped and were trying to eat a bottle, so Mom stopped and got that. Once we got them past the bottle, we were practically already back to their pen. We got one of them to go in the pen real easy. In the pen real easy. Their tails are banded, like, uh, so that way they'll dock them. It's one of the easiest ways to dock a lamb's tail. So, for long, they're only going to have nubby t nubs for tails. They're going to be like Penny the dog. Just got a little nub. They use some little tails and they'll whip you. The one tried running off. No matter how hard I tried to catch her, she'd just take off. I finally got the little booger. Then Mom said to put her down. I don't know why. But I ended up herding her into the pen. So, they're really cute. You can't even see that their tails are banded. Then we turned it over to Hank. We let Hank guard them. She said she was going to guard them. So we let her. She went off looking for a spot close by to lay down. This is a photo album that I found that is of all the kids that mom's raised. There's lots of them in there. In the back of it we found like animals. Like horses, uh, special cats, pigs. Ch special chickens and in the very back last in the first photo in the very back we found booger a picture of booger he was the very first goat i got he got into everything he get in the smallest place you wouldn't even think with spring coming mom decided she was going to clamp the orchard with i mean that not the orchard the garden with her flowers in it because it was springtime so we went to work on that. We cleared off one whole end of it, 
and now it's down to half of it, marking at that post right there with the wire with it because mom says she's going to take and cut it down to be smaller so she can keep it under control easier and turn the rest of it back out to into pasture and that's part of where my goats and sheep and alpacas are going to be which is going to be real fun we're going to burn that pile this tree had buds on it already it's got green and brown buds every year mom takes and walks through her trees like they're babies so she found bagworms on one of them she got really mad and she went to picking at them and checking it for more and checked every other tree and made sure they had green buds on all of them it's funny how they turn red this year they've grown taller but mom picks at them till she gets every little piece off of it which means i gotta stand up there forever They're all red and browns, and they're all different colors. There's apples, pears, peach, and mom's hoping to get pecan trees, but we don't know about that. She had some that she got from grandma, but dad mowed them over or they died. Tom even helps us. He follows us around. Mom and I cleaned out the sheep in an alpaca pen and moved all the toys back out to the goat pens. So mom and I went to move in things we had in there for the goats and the calves when we had those in there. So we had to remove all the mineral feeders, all the toys, everything. We took and mom said that I had to pull the mineral feeder out of there, so I went to work on that. It took me forever. I had to fight with it because it tried rolling off and then I'd drop it and like that I dropped it. Finally I got it out. Then mom told me to go be a he-man and pick up the shroud tie and carry it out. That was not very fun. I think the thing weighed more than I did. Because I'd go to pull pull it over to put it on my shoulder. It almost knocked me down. I tried picking it up like Mom said and I couldn't. So I started dragging it. I started dragging it. Then I got it. So this is what the pen looks like afterwards. Which is really open. We even have pictures of the goats out there. I mean video of the goats and... Like no, sheep and alpacas. The goats got a tasty treat of apples today. They love apples. After I left, they dropped all the little pieces that they dropped. They all swarmed and went to eating and headbutting them. Dimples is a hog, though. This is part of the land that I will be getting. Right across there is a post that marks it. And anything off to your right that mom pans out and see, that you can see is gonna be mine to borrow. There's two things I have to do this land. Burn a brush pile and clean an old fence line which has a lot of old rusty pipe and metal and stuff in it. Okay, and you're on. What? <laughs> Take 553. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, rodeo news, I got third in the tie down, third in the breakaway, and my healer missed in the team. Four inch lock in, Billy did a workshop that I helped him with. It was really neat. We recycled cardboard and made curtains with dye rod and fishing line plus cardboard. And I'm entering for my district tour show this week, so that way we can go. I'm not going to take Angela this year. At their opening clinic, it's going to be April 14th. It's kind of, we're working on still getting stuff lined out. If you'd like to donate, will you please email me? Will got business of the year that I nominated him for. He is the contractor who built the community coop and come back out after it rolled and fixed it in less than three days. I don't know if I want if I can go because it costs forty five dollars for us all to go and that's half a load of feed. Who has time for entertainment? Mom's on a spring cleaning kick. Thanks for watching. Bye.